Hello dear students, welcome back in our biology period and very warm good morning to all of you. So we were discussing our lesson that is what infectious diseases and how to prevent them from state board fifth standard textbook. In that we have discussed how the infectious diseases are getting spread with the different ways and also we have discussed what is meant by epidemic and today we will discuss that how to prevent that epidemic or which are the ways that we have to follow or we can stop this epidemic okay already some points we have discussed that we have to do to prevent the spreading of the epidemic and today we will see the next point that is what vaccination okay so to stop the spreading of the infectious disease we can follow the very best way that is nothing but what vaccination okay so see sometimes what happens the germ there are the germs present everywhere in our surrounding the germs are present in air water and in land so the germs are present everywhere sometimes what happens the germs are enter in our body okay but still we are not feeling ill or still that person is not getting suffer from any disease okay why this happens because as we know in our body there are the certain immunity system or there are the wbcs which helps our body to fight against the different diseases okay so in this way whatever so if some germs are enters in our body then our body is prepared at different enzymes to kill that germs okay so sometimes it works but sometimes we feel ill or we are getting suffer from the different diseases okay so for that also there is a solution if we want to protect our body from the different infectious disease then what we have to do then there is a best way with the help of that we can prevent the infectious diseases or the spreading of the infectious disease that is nothing but what vaccination okay so vaccination is called the certain types of the germs which are what partially dead okay that partially dead germs are entered in our body with the help of the injection or with the help of the or orally also okay so that vaccine is nothing but what it is the one type of the solution or it is the one type of the medicine which contain the partially dead germs of that particular disease okay so whenever that partially dead dead germs enters in our body the our body started to works on it okay and already the germs are what partially dead then it is very easy to our body to kill that germs very easily and in the next time if like that germs which are very healthy if enters in our body then our body is already aware that if this type of the germs enter in our body then what type of the chemicals we have to produce okay so if they are in this way what happen if that germs again enters in our body then our body is now ready to fight against that disease okay or fight against that particular germs okay so that is only what what happen in the vaccination okay so we are taking the different types of the vaccination we are providing the different types of the vaccination to the children okay why for that reason we need to pro protect them from the different types of the infectious disease okay so let's see the what are the vaccinations or which are the different types of the vaccinations we are taking soon after a baby is born she is given tuberculosis vaccine so as the baby born that time only the baby has given the one vaccine and the name of that vaccine is what tuberculosis so that tuberculosis disease vaccination is given to the baby as she get born okay after a baby is born she is given a tuberculosis vaccine next one is there after one and half month the vaccine of diphtheria foufinger and tetanus and polio these diseases vaccines are given to the children okay so now what is meant by diphtheria so the diphtheria is a disease which is related to the throat and in that it is very difficult to take a wee okay next time uh, next one is what whooping cough so what is happening in the whooping cough it specially happens in the child children small children in that what happens the children are coughing very loudly okay and this is only what whooping cough and also in that what happen it is difficult to take the wee next one is what tetanus so in the tetanus what happen the certain muscles of our body is getting very 
hard especially what we will talk about the face so that face muscles are getting very hard and they cannot do any movement okay so this tetanus is also happens by the entering of the certain types of the germs in our body or certain types of the bacteria in our body next one is what polio so as we know in the polio certain organ is getting uh, stop their movability or that certain body part certain organs cannot move okay so these for all these different diseases there is a one vaccine is given for the children okay right at what age at the age of one and half month so when the baby becomes one and half months then that baby is given the vaccination against which diseases diphtheria Pinko, tetanus, and polio. Okay, two four doses doses at intervals of one month for that same diseases. One more doses or two more doses are given at intervals of one month. Means first is given by one and half month, second one is given by two and half months, and third one is given by the three and half month. Like that, three doses of the. Diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, and polio is given by to the children. Okay. Next one is the triple vaccine is given as an injection. Now, what is meant by the triple vaccine? The vaccine of diphtheria, whooping cough, and tetanus they get mixed. They get combined and that is given as what triple vaccine. So, triple vaccine is nothing but what the vaccine of diphtheria, whooping cough. And tetanus. Okay, so with the help of these three diseases, there are these the vaccine of these three diseases is getting combined, and together it is called as what triple vaccine. So this triple vaccine is given as an injection, and as we know, the polio is given as a oral. Okay, so this is all about what vaccination. So see, all the time the persons are not getting feel uh, ill. Okay, all the times the persons are not getting suffer from the different diseases. Thus, some people are having very strong immunity system, so they will not get very easily so uh, well, or they will not get ill very easily fall for the certain types of the diseases. Okay, so see now it is the time that everyone is telling that we have to improve our immunity system. Okay. But because by mistake, if any germs, if any bacteria, if any virus enters in our body, then if our immunity system is strong, then that immunity system can kill that virus or can kill that bacteria, and we will not get suffer from any type of the disease. Okay? Since now we are facing the one disease that is what COVID nineteen, and all that COVID nineteen, there is no proper vaccination. That is why everyone is having worry about that. But we, if we'll take the proper care, if we keep the cleanliness everywhere, then obviously we will not get suffer from any type of the diseases. Okay, so this is all about what vaccination. Vaccine is nothing but what this is the one type of the substance. It is a medicine in that already the partially dead uh, germs are present which enters in our body and that body, our body when it enters in our body, our body. Kill that germs, and whenever the strong or whenever the real germs of that diseases enters in our body, then our body is already aware that which type of the chemicals they have to produce to fight against the germs. Okay, so this is all about what vaccine. So there are the different types of the vaccines the children has given. Now the next one is that we discuss about the public health service. Facilities. So, government has given the different facilities for the children and for the people those who are living in the cities. Okay. So, there are the different welfare programs are happening in that. There are the different checkups are happens for the person. There are the national level camps are there. In that, there are the certain camps in that vaccination for the children are happen, and very trained people are given the injections to the baby. Okay. Also, there are the primary health center. On the rural basis or in the city, on the small villages, there the people can take the treatment. Also, there are the mobile dispensary. Mobile dispensary means what? The movable or the hospitals which can go from one place to another place for whom those who are disabled, those who cannot walk, or those who are having any type of the disabilities. Okay, for them also there is what mobile dispensary is also there. Okay. Also, there are the certain camps are there in that we can do the.
the investigation or we can do the examination of the urine test, blood test, x-ray, certain types of the scans we can do. In that generally we have to give the more time to get the reports and all but in these scans we can get the result very easily. Okay. So all these uh, things the government is doing for the people and people should take the advantage of that all things. Okay. Also the mass media is there with the help of that mass media the people are always aware about how to keep the cleanliness or what we have to do to stop the infectious diseases. So now it is banned to split on the public places. It is not allowed to split on the public places. Also, it is banned to smoking on the public places. Okay. So on the personal level, also it will take care that we can stop the infectious disease. We have to boil the water. We have to keep everywhere cleanliness. We have to cover the food. By doing all these things, we can prevent the infectious disease. And as we know, the prevention is better than cure. So always we have to take the protection or always we have to prevent or always we have to try to prevent the infectious diseases. Okay. So this is all about today. We will see the next point in the next video. We will meet in the next video for today. Thank you.